I I recently purchased a Insta360 Go 2 camera which has built-in storage of about 32 gigabytes and once you fill it up you either have to copy it onto your PC or onto your phone uh, then you can erase the memory and use some more. You get about 45 minutes of highly stabilised footage on it. Um, I think it's a wonderful device but the uh, limited storage is a bit of a problem if you're away from home on holiday, do you remember holidays? Um, or if you are um, not wanting to use your phone for storage and you haven't got access to your PC. I mean, you don't necessarily want to take a laptop on holiday with you. So I've been casting around for a way to get the footage off the Go 2 and onto a larger hard drive to archive it away so that uh, if I'm away for several days, I can shoot, archive, shoot, archive and so forth uh, with taking the minimum with me and uh, trying to save a bit of money because um, uh, I do have a RAV file hub but um, that doesn't actually seem to work well for this purpose. So, what I've found is that with Android phones at least, you can connect a OTG hub. And I bought one for 35 Australian dollars on Amazon and it's here. Um, it's uh, got a wire on one end and then it's got various ports and it's also in this version got a card reader or card writer. Uh, both for SD cards and micro SD cards. There's another port on the end there. So you've got three um, USB-A ports, um, two uh, card reader ports and the wire that goes into your phone, USB-C. So um, I've been trying this out and it actually works very well. And it would also be a good solution for anyone going away on holiday with a conventional camera and wanting to archive away um, for backup or uh, space reasons their footage as they go um, and um, and it does so wirelessly unlike the RAV file hub and um, it seems to be you know as quick as can be expected for that kind of copy so I'll show you um, just an example of how it can be all connected together coming up so here you've got the various components of the system. Uh, there's the uh, Go to in its case there, which is which can be connected to one port on the um, hub here. There's the phone which controls the operations over there. There's a, a SanDisk one gigabyte portable SSD there which I strongly recommend for this kind of purpose and there's also a little 500 uh, gigabyte uh, portable drive there and I found that works as well and there's a um, SD card which can go in the uh, slot on the um, file hub there so once it's all connected together it looks like this so here it is connected together and um, in this uh, setup I've just got the Go 2 connected to the phone and to the backup drive. Um, but uh, if for instance you wanted to take uh, a conventional um, SD card out of a camera and copy that to the backup drive, you just pop that in there, you wouldn't have the Go 2 connected. Um, and then you use um, software on the phone, normal file management app to undertake the uh, the copying from one device to another. Now exactly how that's done depends on the file management app that you're using, but, um, and I don't think I'm going to go into detail here because each one is quite different and they've got all their, their, their various quirks and so forth. I would strongly recommend if you do um, uh, use this, use it with test files first, get used to how it works at home, come up, come up and deal with any quirks that you discover and, um, and then you're all set for when you use it for real. But, um, well, there it is. There's not much more to be said. 
Um, it's a pretty neat setup. It uh, doesn't weigh much. I'll put a link to the particular hub that I'm using in the comments below, but I'm not endorsing that particular one other than I know that it works. You might find something cheaper. You might find something better. That's up to you. I don't get any uh, uh, kickback from the um, video. Um, I'm just telling you what I've discovered. So I hope that uh, gives you an idea. I really don't think there's any simpler way of doing this in the field. Um, sorry if you've got an iPhone, I believe this sort of thing can't be done. But um, it'd almost be worth buying a cheap uh, phone. Oh, as far as the phone is concerned, yeah, you should check that your phone does um, do OTG um, file transfers in the first place. So maybe Google for your phone and with the letters OTG to see whether there's anything on the net which says it does or it doesn't do OTG in the first place if you're not sure because that's kind of essential to this operation. I did discover one of my phones does do OTG and it's incredibly slow. It's a Poco F1. Um, this phone is a uh, Mi 9T and it goes you know, as fast as I wish. And doing these file transfers, um, it's you know it's as quick as I would have expected. And I've thoroughly tested the transfer from the Insta360 Go 2, um, and it it works um, perfectly well for flow state operations and so forth. I really can't see any particular downside to this at all. Anyway, hope this helps somebody.